Welcome to Matapalooza, part one. Hey y'all, welcome to Ginger Walkabout. As you can see, not, not in the van, in uh, my aunt and uncle's. Uh, garage apartment. It's very nice for a garage apartment. Do not feel bad for me. Uh, anyway, uh, I've been here for, whew, I don't know, a few weeks, I guess. I don't know, coming up on a month, I suppose. Anyway, we are taking this opportunity to do some work on Lucille. Uh, as you have already seen, we took care of the black tank valve issue. Thank God. Uh, and now we're getting into uh, some mods just to make her prettier and easier to live in. So here we go. All right, that one's not done yet. We'll, we'll get into it when it's done, the backrest. It's not done yet. And the new table. And yes, that would be a lagoon mount that you spy, but it's not done yet. So we'll talk about that later. But here is a mod that is done. Oh, behold, the beautiful new faucet. So it turns, I guess technically it could also be a pot filler. Uh, yeah, and it, you know, comes out. Whee! Um, spray and not spray function, single thing. Anyway, I'll put a link to this one on Amazon. It's like 50 bucks. Anyway, so now here's the thing. Yes, you will be drilling a hole in your Corian. There's no two ways about it. So, Uncle Pat has agreed to take on many a project for me, this being one of them. And so, of course, the critical thing, the, the, the point of no return, as you were, is drilling the hole. So my Uncle Pat is being very precise. Very, we are measuring five times because we definitely can only cut once. And by we, I mean him. Here goes nothing. Anticipated, but you know, it got done. Pat doesn't have to go to the gym now. Yeah, I got my upper body workout. Whiskey's still out there, like, what is happening? What you doing, Boogle? <laughs> All right, faucet hole. I love it. Let's see, if this... Let's see. do a little dry fit here, Let's see what happens. See if all this will <laughs> fit through there. Now then. There you go. We're working smarter, not harder. That seems to be the goal anyway. Oh! That's kind of what it's going to Look at there! All right. So we get the... Put the sink back up there and see what it looks like. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, here we go. We have installed the new faucet. We're going to see if it works. Ready? I'm going to put it on cold. Here we go. Oh, 
Is the pump on? <laughs> <laughs> Here, here, for a pump. here. Whoa. pump on pump on is always the best way to get water just so you know all right here we go ah, look at that i see no leakage all right have a pressure tank in there? Nope. It's just the man on the phone. Yep. No I see no leakage. I hear no leakage. All of those things are positive. Well. All right. Uh, not everyone's going to like this mod. Okay. So far, I like this mod. As you can see, we removed the faucet. It was in here that came with the Dometic sink. I still have it. It can be easily reinstalled. Uh, this little, this is actually plastic. Uh, you can buy that on Amazon too. It's the sink hole plugger in brush nickel. Uh, I will put a link to that as well. So here's, you know, the faucet goes over the sink and then you move it out of the way to close the lid. Uh, again, I like it. Uh, I like it because I it's more out of the way. I can get into the sink better. It doesn't fall down or come unattached like the Dometic faucet that was in here. I like that I can spray the sides of the sink to clean it out. Yeah, so so far liking my new faucet. Another mod my uncle did for me, and this is an easy one, uh, that I would recommend for anybody. So, this is the back passenger side door. And the only way to open these back cargo doors from the inside is on a handle that's way back there that you cannot get to. If the bed is down or anything's in your way, there's just, there's like no space and you can't get in here and pull the handle open. Trust me, it is nearly impossible. So... We rigged the strap. We rigged the strap. I'll go on the outside and show you how that was done. There's the whiskey dog. He's fine. He's happy. He has lots of room to run around. I love you. <laughs> okay, so better look at this, right? So there's the handle, and like I said, with the closet rear storage area, it is nearly impossible to get to this handle from the inside. And if you've got a fire in your galley and you need to get out the back, you're going to have a hard time doing that. So, all we did, and by we, I mean Magnificent Uncle Pat, was put a screw through here. And we just got some strapping, drilled right through the handle. It's just a little plastic handle. And then put the strap around. And this hole is already in the van. And you can pop this plastic piece off and get in behind this hole. So that was easy as well. So again, big washer, uh, it's cause the hole's big, you know, and then the strapping. And so now when you're inside, all you gotta do is grab the strapping and you can open the door. And then, yeah, you can pop the other door easily cause the handle for the other door is right here. So easy peasy. So that's just a common sense safety thing that really, I mean, come on Winnebago. That's an easy, that's an easy fix and a way to save somebody's bacon. So yeah, I did, uh, <laughs> I did need to give Uncle Pat a break. So I headed down to my friend Andrew's house in Anaheim for a week and we got to work on attaching a tube to store the stinky slinky. All right, so Lucille, we got her up on some lifts here so that we can do something about proper sewage pipe storage. So we have bought a Valterra expandable, adjustable holder. Toolboxes are being procured. 
We have ensured that the hose fits in the holder. Every part of the hose, the clear elbow, all the things fit in there. The only thing that doesn't fit in there is the funnel doodad that goes on the end into the actual dump. That will go in a Ziploc bag. I'm willing to work with that. So this is the space. Here's the hitch. This is the hitch. And we are gonna attempt to get the pipe in this space. And then it'll come out here next to the dump area. So, the only glitch in that plan is these brackets hold up the black tank. So, basically we have to move these out of the way one at a time. We don't want to drop the black tank. There's one down there too. So we can get the pipe in here, in that area, and then put these back on. In case you're wondering, since I'm down here, black tank, black tank valve that was recently replaced, weird metal bracket offset thing, handle, stop collar, thank you Uncle Pat, the big black box here is where the lithium batteries are, um, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. While we're wheeling around under a van. There's my Sumo Springs. One of them anyway. It's fascinating. They turn, they start out bright yellow. Now they're reddish. Isn't that weird? But anyway, they're still attached, so that's a good sign. Oh, in case you're wondering. Here's your heat pad. Well, one of them anyway. This is the black tank heat pad. So, I guess sometimes these come off, but this one is under the brackets. So that one won't come off. Working we hard. We don't want it all the way down, right? We don't want it all the way off. Right? No, you just want to back it off about three quarters of an inch. Take this bracket off. Black tank bracket screw shoved tube shove tube up there so it cut, cuts into the tube a little bit there and more over here it kind of squishes it a little bit but you know what it's a plastic tube for a sewer pipe even if it sticks a hole in it oh well more air for drying sewer hose so anyway brackets are back up holding black tank in position uh, and she's wedged in there pretty good but of course now we're gonna do uh, we got some clamps and we're gonna go around the pipe and the hitch bar just to make sure she stays where she's supposed to stay all right so here's the final result we have the clamps, four of them, on the hitch. Doesn't interfere with the hitch in any way. And then you can see the side. It pinches the hose a little bit right there. Not super excited about it. But you can still get in and out. Obviously, comes right out here next to the dump station, which is where you want it. And just unscrew the handle. And it does fit the clear elbow, the fittings, all the things. So there you go. It actually was not hard to do. I don't know why everyone doesn't do this. Couple of clamps, take off a couple bolts, put them back on. Andrew, thank you for supervising. Welcome. Much appreciated. So we're still working on a bunch of things. So as you can see, obviously, whoo, where'd my wire over slider shelf go? <gasps> Don't know. Gotta finish the table mod. Gotta finish the backrest mod. Got some electrical mods I'm doing. All the things. So 
Sorry they're not done yet. We're still working on it. Work in progress. Things to do keep us busy. Thanks to the coronavirus.